Hi there, today we're going to talk through the process of getting some dents taken out of an item. Here we've got a toolbox off an old BSA. As you can see, it's got plenty of dents in it, so we're going to get these taken out. In fact, the lid of this toolbox is completely covered in dents. There's not a dent free part on it. Now I'm no expert when it comes to metalwork repairs. My speciality is metal finishing, so I'm going to talk you through what I was told about the processes that he's doing here. He's working on all the low spots first. He's placing the bottom of the dent on the curve of that dome anvil that's in the vise, and then he's hammering around the dent, not actually onto it directly. And this apparently brings it up and he just keeps working the areas trying to get it all to the same level. If you notice he's not actually hitting the hammer directly onto it, it's always moving at an angle. If you like what we do please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and if you hit the notification bell you'll be informed when we release a new video. Even the sounds of the hammer blows tell him how the work is progressing. It depends whether it's making a dull sound or if it's ringing like a bell. If it rings like a bell he knows the dents where he needs it. Just picking up on the location of another dent there. It's a process of constant checking to see how the dents are progressing and how they're coming out. Not finished yet, but you can see that it's starting to improve. From this side view you can definitely see how the hammer's not hit directly onto the metal but it's a glancing blow across the surface.
Now he's moving on to removing those dents near the hinge on the lid. Working his way around them. By the looks of it, when we received this toolbox, it looked like somebody else had had a go at trying to remove dents, and they'd actually caused more dents by doing that. In fact, it looked like it had been done by Father Ted. If you like what we do, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you hit the notification bell, you'll be informed when we release a new video. Now it's time to use a hand dolly behind that lid so he's got something to hit against. Now some hammer work on the edge of the lid just so that the profile fits the toolbox nice and snugly. Now it's got to be gone over with a file and the reason for this is it will show any high or low spots so that you can do a little bit more work where needed. Now just removing the hammer marks with a grinder with a sanding disc attached to it. Now there's a lot of opportunity here to really mess the job up badly. This man is an artist with an angle grinder. After roughing it out with the grinder he would normally go over this with a DA sander to leave a fine finish. But as we're going to be doing the metal finishing at a later date to this, there is no need as we will sort that out. There we go, all the dents have been removed now. It's kind of difficult to see because the grinder marks are going in different directions. Now here's the finished toolbox, all free from dents. So you can see the finished article better, I've sanded it so all the lines are running in one direction. There it is, dents removed, all ready for metal finishing.